Committees of the MTA meeting today, the first time since the pause of congestion pricing by New York Governor Hochul. And top of mind, the financial fallout from all this. Consider, the MTA was supposed to get a billion dollars a year from congestion pricing and had planned to use that money for several major projects over the years going forward. Now some board members are worried about cuts they'll have to make to deal with this lost revenue. With the latest, here's Eyewitness News reporter Ann Jay Burkett. There are those tonight who wonder, will the MTA have enough money to keep the trains and the buses rolling, let alone modernizing and upgrading the system, keeping up with repairs and even routine maintenance? MTA board member Samuel Chu. Um, the biggest concern is that we're going to run short, making sure that we can cover the most critical of uh, repairs and maintenance investments to just keep the system running. Congestion pricing was intended to ease traffic congestion in Manhattan while raising billions of dollars for the regional transportation system. New rail cars and high-tech rail control systems to run more trains more often. Modern electric buses, the Second Avenue subway expanded north into Harlem, and more stations accessible to the disabled. I'm really expecting some gloom, doom, and for riders that means despair. Board members who voted overwhelmingly in favor of congestion pricing are now increasingly pessimistic. David Jones is one of them. He worries that New York City transit could become as bad as New Jersey transit. To see it all delayed is very depressing. You've looked what happened to New Jersey tra transit because of the heat wave. This, these systems have to be invested in to sustain themselves. Are you concerned at all that the system could slide backwards? Um, that's what we're trying to avoid. Uh, of course it's a concern. The MTA board is now bracing for bad news. How bad? The fact is we won't know until the full board meets on Wednesday. Without congestion pricing or some other source of revenue, the impact could be dramatic. In Lower Manhattan, NJ Burke at Channel 7, Eyewitness News.